In uh, this video, I would like to, to explain how to solve the problem of the uh, GDK version used by Flutter. As we see here, uh, we have three options, change in the IDE settings, change the environment variable, or change Gradle properties. To start, uh, we will check uh, the GDK version used by Flutter. For this, we execute uh, flutter doctor dash v command in our terminal uh, and uh, as we see here, we find uh, the version used by flutter here for uh, Android license, don't we have one point uh, eight? and uh, by Android Studio, which is uh, GDK 1.8. It's uh, and uh, you have different uh, information about. Now I will launch Android uh, Studio and uh, click open uh, while waiting for Android Studio to open I will also open the environment variable uh, in the in the Java home variable we have the location of our GDK you copy the link and you pass it in the search here we have our GDK and in the Java folder we have I have the, the different version of uh, GDK okay it's a location of our GDK as I often used VS code I have uh, an old uh, version of Android uh, studio so that the video is no, not too long, I will skip the steps. There I will install uh, Android Studio. Download Android Studio. And for those who want to update Android, click on the update. Here you can uh, choose the appropriate channel. Of, uh, which to check uh, for update for example stable channel like uh, their stable channel uh, it's uh, the official uh, stable version av available on the Android developer site uh, in my case here you have uh, plugin incompatible if you want to download uh, it here uh, in my case, I will uh, reinstall my Android Studio. Uh, accept the term of use. And uh, click on the save. Okay. Uh, in the meantime, I will... Uh, in install uh, the old version of Android Studio for that uh, Android Studio in install in install and uh, for uh, those who only want to install the GDK you launch the search uh, in the on the search uh, engine download GDK open the main Oracle site here we have our GDK uh, for Windows and uh, 64 systems. Uh, we have for Windows and also for uh, the different Linux and Mac system systems. Uh, and after downloading, you place it in the Java folder like here. Here I launched my Android uh, Studio, which I uh, installed. Then click on the SDK SDK Manager. Uh, 
un SDK manager. Uh, as we say here, build. Uh, as we say here, uh, we have no Gradle. Uh, you have to, to launch on your project. Uh, then click on the project uh, structure. And the, in the SDK location, we have the GDK used by our Gradle. You have to change the GDK used by default by version 11 of GDK like here 11 version 11 version then click on ok i run uh, my application on this code but the problem persists so we are going to make change to our java home environment variable As you see here, just now I put program files. It must be changed by uh, program tilde one. In this uh, Java uh, var home variable, you put the location of your GDK. If you would like to use the GDK installed with your Android Studio, you go to the location of your Android Studio, then look for the the, the G GRA folder open it and copy the link of this folder then you put it uh, here in the java home environment variable uh, same for uh, those who have uh, installed the gdk only uh, only co you copy the link of your gdk folder uh, with the right uh, version and uh, you pass it in uh, the java home variable and don't forget to modify program tilde one now let's uh, do a test i run my, my app and uh, it's uh, perfect it works uh, so to solve the problem it's either uh, to install your android studio or update it or install the most recent uh, a version of a gdk uh, and it changed the environment variable java home so thank you for your attention uh, if you have uh, questions do not hesitate to to leave it in the comments see you next time